Making your own takedown bow, part one, the riser. Okay, so we've got our basic shape, that's going to be our pistol grip there. Now we need to decide we're making a left-handed bow or a right-handed bow. If I am a left-handed shooter, I'm going to hold the riser in my right hand like so and pull the, draw the arrow back with my left. So you'll see that the thumb slot is there. On the left hand side, the sight window is on the right hand side. So that's for a left handed shooter. For a right handed shooter, it's going to be the opposite. The thumb slot is going to be on the right, the sight window is going to be on the left. So I'm going to grab it like that, and I'm going to mark where my thumb is going to sit. Going to mark where my hand is going to be, and then what I'm going to do is just round these edges to make a comfortable fit. I'm 
Like so, just marking up where I'm going to take some material away. Using a western style, my site window is going to be here. So we're just going to chisel these out to make a comfortable shape. Uh, how much material you take off will depend on the size of your hand. Um, just keep going until it's comfortable um, and try and make sure that your hand when you're holding it, you know, that that's in the middle, remains in the middle. So don't take too much off one side and nothing off the other side. Okay, so I've got my riser sitting nice and even, about the same distance there as I have there. Um, I'm just going to put my set square on and I'm going to mark up the bottom of my arrow shelf. So I'm going to go with um, this upper line because that's the widest point and I'm going to mark the top of my site window over here where this flat section ends and then we're going to cut that out. Okay. <clears throat> So what I want to do is I want my site window, uh, which is going to go here with my arrow shelf at the bottom, to be halfway across plus half of my arrow width. That way the arrow is going to go nicely in the center and when I drill my holes through here to, uh, through here to attach my limbs, uh, I want them directly exactly in the middle so that the string of the bow will line up with the arrow and push it exactly straight and I won't have to have the arrow bending around uh, the riser or anything like that. So I'm going to mark that up now. Okay, so that's marked up. Um, I've just scribbled on the waste side of my wood so that I know, can't get confused about where I'm coming out. So I'm going to cut this first straight in and then I'm just going to cut my slots like before and get this all out with a chisel in that nice rounded shape. Uh, that was the middle and that was uh, plus the half the arrow width. So there we go. We don't want to overcut this. It's better um, that we leave it a little bit short and just take out a little bit more material with a, a finer uh, w approach to the work at a later stage. Okay, so we've got the basic shape. We've got our arrow shelf site window. We've got a um, place for our thumb to sit. Little recess for the rest of our hand. Um, we're rounding it off a little bit. It's really basic at this stage. We've got our nice angles uh, where the limbs will attach there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take down uh, the rest of the material we want to come off with a rasp um, for the uh, uh, more coarse work and then I like to use a metal file um, particularly if the wood's quite hard that works quite well um, and of course you if you've got a power drill at home you can get attachments for the power drill of either of these which will make it a lot easier um, and then we're going to sand it smooth. Um, this can be done by hand, it can be done on a machine, whatever you have. Okay, so we're getting things a bit nice and smooth now. Um, there are a couple of places that are difficult to get to um, and I'll use a drill attachment for those. That's just the thumb recess here and when you get down into the bottom of the site window through this area uh, which you really do need to be quite nice and um, uh, and done properly um, so the arrow will fly through there correctly. So this last little bit, I just do this with a chisel by hand without uh, the mallet and I'll uh, chisel down a little bit here, maybe bashing the end of it gently with my hand 
and then <coughs> in from the side just to square that up. Right, so there we go. Now we'll just get a bit of sandpaper, sand that off nice and smooth, and um, go to the next step. Okay, so there it is. Um, you can take this obviously as far as you want to. Uh, I mean, you can polish them, sand them, um, whatever, uh, but that's now functional. Uh, we're going to have to drill some holes um, to attach our bowlem. We're going to drill two there and we're going to drill two down here. Uh, because we've chosen the same width of timber for the riser as the limbs, uh, we'll be able to line those holes up more easily so that the limbs uh, are line up straight with the riser and the string will therefore be straight in the right place to shoot the arrow.